Hello, welcome to Nursing with Professor B. My name is Bridget. I have a master's degree in nursing education. I'm also a family nurse practitioner. In today's video, I will be going over medical abbreviations, the letter D. Before we get started, make sure you hit the like button, make sure you subscribe, and make sure you turn on that notification bell. Right, medical abbreviations, the letter D. So D, like if you see QD, Q would be every, D would be day, so day. You'll see this a lot, abbreviated a lot. DAT is diet as tolerated. So for example, someone may have come out of a procedure and if the doctor writes um, DAT, then diet as tolerated. Not one that is as frequently used, just FYI. DC is discontinue. Sometimes they'll write DC, like discharge them today too. So you just want to be careful and use context clues. D and C is dilation and curatage. Doctors will do a D and C if there's abnormal uterine bleeding uh, in order to take a, a sample of the tissue and figure out what's going on. Or um, after, for example, if a woman has had a miscarriage and there's still portions of the fetus left in there, they may have to go in there and do this. DC is discharge, DG or DX is diagnosis, DIC is disseminated intravascular coagulation. And a lot of times this will happen, it's um, what ends up occurring is due to some kind of trauma uh, or infection, the body at first hypercoagulates and then uses up all its clotting factors. And then it cannot clot and then it's basically and then basically these individuals bleed out. DIF is differential blood count. DJD is degenerative joint disease. Here's a healthy joint, and this is what ends up happening with a uh, osteoarthritis. DM is diabetes mellitus. It could also be diastolic murmur. I see it a lot for diabetes mellitus. DNR is a do not resuscitate. If, some, if someone has a DNR, the number one thing I can tell you though is if you were told and report someone is a DNR, make sure you confirm that the DNR is indeed in the chart because the last thing you want to happen is that this patient codes, you don't do CPR on them because you took the nurse's word for it and God forbid she mixed up patients or there was no DNR actually on file. DOA is dead on arrival. DOB is date of birth. DOD is date of death. DOE is dyspneic on exertion, so having trouble catching your breath when exercising. DPT or DTAP. For DPT, we have diphtheria, pertussis, or tetanus. And then the DTAP is given for pediatric patients less than seven years old, and it is diphtheria, the tetanus toxoids, in the acellular pertussis vaccine. DTR is deep tendon reflex. DU, duodenal ulcer. DVT, this is a big one, you should know this one, is deep vein thrombosis. And what occurs is that a clot basically starts to form. The danger is if the clot dislodges. DW, distilled water. And D5W is 5% dextrose in water. A lot of times on the unit, I encourage you to read your medication administration record or MAR because let's say you have a diabetic patient and they've been NPOs or without food or water for about, um, I believe the MAR will say if NPO for more than four hours or three hours, you're supposed to hang D5. Um, I can't tell you how many times I've walked into a patient room in the morning and the nurse didn't read this, um, the protocol. So my patient is basically hypoglycemic. So please, if your patient is diabetic, do not make them go into some kind of diabetic coma because you didn't read the MAR correctly. Always be proactive, always think ahead, always think critically. Thank you so much for watching. If you want a free copy of this PowerPoint, then read the instructions below. As of right now, it will probably be to email me. In the future, the instructions may change. Um, but you can email me at nursingwithprofessorb at gmail.com. Mm -hmm.